Communities in Uganda are currently grappling with a situation of multiparasitism. Blood microscopy frequently reveals the presence of both leishmania and microfilaria in individuals suffering from conditions such as anemia, hemorrhage, and splenomegaly. Many of these cases are likely asymptomatic, indicating potential exposure to insect vectors. Investigation involved examining the blood and tissue exudate consumed by Tunga penetrans from relatively healthy individuals in eastern Uganda, who had experienced sand flea infestations in 2010. A comparison was then made with Gimsa stained blood and bone marrow aspirate smears from patients admitted to Malago National Referral Hospital. In histology preparations of formalin preserved paraffin embedded enucleate stained with hematoxylin and eosin, cross sections with a columnar lining containing a pink substance were observed. Within this substance were numerous lobular and circular organelles representing nuclei of polymorphonuclear and mononuclear white blood cells. The translucent spheres clustered around the nuclei contained two spots, one large and dark, the other small and red, with no microfilaria observed. In patients' blood smears, where microfilaria were demonstrable, the spheres clustered inside monocytes, while in bone marrow aspirate smears, they were identified as Leishman-Donovan bodies. These findings suggested an inflammatory reaction in the host and implied a cutaneous and or systemic Leishmaniel infection. The various cross-sections surrounded by a multi-layered exoskeleton were indicative of the respective internal organs of the arthropod, based on morphological features and luminal content. Abundant respiratory and reproductive cross-sections suggested the bifurcating or winding nature of the organs, while filtration excretory and digestive cross-sections displayed a tortuous luminal lining, indicative of absorptive excretory function. The pink substance in the digestive lumina matched the characteristics of the blood and tissue exudate ingested by the sand flea. The absence of microfilaria in certain portions of the flea's digestive tract could be attributed to processing in the midgut. However, the total absence of microfilaria, frequently demonstrable in patients' blood, urine, and feces, was challenging to explain. The study raised questions about the species involved, potential reservoirs, and modes of transmission. Furthermore, the presence of leishmania in the enucleated sand fleas carried epidemiological significance. Although the fleas themselves were unlikely to transmit the protozoa, their carriage of Leishman-Donovan bodies indicated a cutaneous and or systemic Leishmaniel infection in the human donors. The clinical and epidemiological implications highlighted the potential for the asymptomatic carriers to eventually develop full-blown Leishmaniasis contributing to the transmission of the parasite. The findings suggested the need for further evaluation of potential vectors and modes of transmission in the region. Please remember to subscribe to our channel, click the like button, and activate the notification bell if you wish to see more content like this. Thanks for watching.